Hello and welcome to a VBA session of MicroStation uh, to Excel. Today we are going to look at how to bring in text from Excel to MicroStation. I will open up an example of one Excel. So let's say we have this sheet one, um, column A, you can see we have, uh, let's say if we have six rows for now, and if you want to bring that to MicroStation, now in this first session, this is going to be a part of two series in this part one it assumes that the table is always the same so I'll go to my developer and open Visual Basic this should open a table that looks like that then go to insert module Now the first thing is to open and close the subroutine or the code. And that is the start and the end of the code. Now as usual, first I like to define my variables on the top. And because we are working from Excel to MicroStation, you need to define the connector. So this will create that link from Excel to MicroStation. And after that part, then I will define my text variables. Now this part here is for placement of the text on 3D MicroStation. So I think from here now we can start um, typing up the code. So the first bit is to bring in the connector. So that's going to connect Excel to MicroStation. Now once this part is done and now you can actually place a text so for this part here uh, i have the code with me so i'll just copy and paste so to save time now what it says here it says now set up my text on macro station now this part here is the actual text so i will gonna so for trying anyway i'm gonna put um testing and then you have the x y and z on the on the file itself so now to test this i'm gonna open the macro station see now this is empty here and then i'm gonna run it so it seems like there's some error up there so i'm gonna find what is that error and try to fix it That seems okay now um, and there we have our text so it seemed to be working so that's going to put our text now what if you want to actually move a text from excel so that if you want to move let's say for example this one into this file here now i'll, I'll do some few changes in the code rather than putting text in here i will um, refer to the actual workbook so you need to define the workbook and then the worksheet 
so then it knows um it takes from that cell there now to do this i'll go back to the code then i will change um this part here so i'm gonna say worksheets sheet one range now here is where you define the actual cell so in my case i will do the top one so it would be a1 then i'll close the bracket and if i try now and see if it's working see what we have it says camera number now this is that one there okay let's try again so I will delete this, delete, then go back to the code um, and run it. And I put it like that so you can see. You can see both sides. So if I run the code, you can see it does it. So that seems to be working. Now, what if now you wanna add multiple um multiple rows in the same column so in this case i will do it the static way i know there's two ways there's one you can do dynamically so it always adapts to the number of um, of rows but in this one i will just do it this way first because this is easy and this is only useful if the number of rows will be the same now i'm gonna add um this second row here and then see what we get so and again i will copy the exact same code and paste it down then i'm going to change a1 to a2 okay then run the code now what you have here you can see we have two elements on top of each other so it seems like what you have to do is um to move the first text up now what you can do if I go back to the code um, and where it says here is the X, you can see the X, Y, and Z. So I'll move the Y up slightly. Um, so the text size itself, we need to check the text size. So I'll bring the text in again. So if you look at the properties, you can see the text is 0 0.25. So maybe if I bring it up, by twice of the amount which is 0 0.5 it will be somewhere here okay so let's try that one let's change the y to 0 0.5 try again and you can see now it has good gap okay so again i'm gonna repeat this for the rest of the rows um i'm gonna copy that and paste here and here again so we're gonna have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 but then I don't like using this way because then it's hard to know how much you're gonna lift you're gonna lift that one up so the, the way I'm going to go about it is to see, for example, if you have, I will need to count um, the number of rows and then multiply by the text height. So if that is 0 0.5, I'll take 0 0.5 times 6 for the maximum. Now to count the number of rows, you're going to add a line just above the hour code and this will be something like this. I'm going to add one more variable here. And now for the code itself, I'm going to add last row. So this is going to count how many rows we have and take the number of the last row. And then
okay so what is saying here is my last row it will be equal to the worksheet in sheet one so that is um sheet one there and the name has to be we should put the exact naming here and then also it will count row in column one um and then number of rows so to see if it's gonna work let's first see what it tells us so i'm gonna put the message here So if you test that, it's going to give us, so it says there's six number of rows. So it's counting from one to six. Now let's say if we add more rows just to see if it's correctly. So now I'm having eight rows here. So again, I'm going to try the code again and see what it gives me. And now it says there's eight rows. So it means that this code is able to know how many number of rows we have. So now we have that. I'm going to remove this part here for now then I'm going to create a text gap so I mean the gap between that and that one I want to be the number of rows time by times by a factor so what I'm going to do here I'm going to do um text gap or just gonna text gap like that is equal to last row times a number of factor i will say maybe 0 0.05 and you can just try an error and try until you find that factor that works for you and that will depend on the number of text sorry on the size of text so i'm going to copy that and replace that with where the y is So I'm going to go because we have like six rows. So I'm going to multiply by six so that the first one comes on the top and then by five. So it comes slightly under and then times four, then times three, times two, and the last one. So that it will create um, a, so it put them slightly into different space vertically. So now if you come here now, if I delete that, then run the code again. Now we have them looking like that. So this can work if you all your number of rows or columns won't exceed, let's say five or six for this case. Now um this it won't be easy if you are your rows it goes up to hundred. Uh, I'm gonna go with the next video and show you how to do that one and I will make my my coding um, dynamic so it adapts to the number of rows but for this one I will keep it short and this is only about how to add a text to MicroStation and I think this it does just that